if what you really want is to keep being able to make movies on your own terms, be open to different kinds of storytelling. I do think it's very important for filmmakers to understand that it's the film business. Ghostbusters too. <laughs> Well, the all-female Ghostbusters that's what I would said. be Ghostbusters a dream project, too. yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult to avoid working within the system at some point. I think you get more toys to play with, you mm -hmm. know. The sandbox is quite rigid in terms of what they want mm -hmm. and how they want it done. There's a familiarity to the way that all the stories get told. So I'd say someone who has an original idea, please jump in there. <laughs> an original way of telling a story, please jump in there. You know, it's tough because it really does depend what your end game is. And for every filmmaker, that's different. Some filmmakers really do have their eyes on, a, on getting into the studios, and, and, that's, and that's fine. And I thought it was interesting, you know, in all the discussion about female directors and, you know, big you know, superhero movies, and some studio heads saying, well, they're not calling me. They're not calling and being aggressive mm -hmm. and saying that they want to do them, and the boys are. So if that's the end game, then I think that's sort of telling. If what you really want is to keep being able to make movies on your own terms, be open to different kinds of storytelling. Mm -hmm. You know, be open to television, web series, to, to just to mm -hmm. all different kinds of ways to get your stories told. It feels like there's more outlets and opportunities for that kind of diverse, those diverse kind of Absolutely. forums of storytelling now. So it seems like an exciting time to be operating on the fringes a little bit. But it also depends on the, the scale of the movie. Right. You know, the story you want to tell. If it's, if it's that yeah. big, there's, there really is only a, a few places you can go to do it. And if you want to tell a small personal story, they're probably not going to be interested. You know? <laughs> People like Christopher Nolan seem to have struck a good balance in that they, you know, every other movie is a personal movie that I'm, I'm sure the reason they're making it is because the next movie he's going to make is a you know, the next Batman or whatever, and right. they'll let him do Inception or they'll let him do Interstellar. Since those aren't franchisable movies, they're probably not interested in it if it wasn't for Christopher right. Nolan. And the reason they're saying yes is because he's done these other right. things for them.